Hey guys, it's Ty's Tech, get back on the video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a disassembly and teardown of the iPhone 6s. So, let's get started. First thing you're going to do is grab a screwdriver. Um, the bit that I will be looking for um, among here is this pentalope. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this with an unscrew. Next, you're going to need like a suction cup to put that right above the home button. Kind of press that down. Lift up on the display. Wedge your pick in there and pop it, kind of twist it. This will be a lot harder if you have a new iPhone 6S that has not been opened before. But this one I've opened before, so the there's no seal or anything. Then we're gonna slowly open it up. Notice there are some cables and ribbons up here that you're gonna be careful of. So take a screwdriver, switch it out. We will grab a Phillips head screwdriver. Just kind of find the white right one. Um, and then the first thing we're gonna do is down here, kind of right here-ish, to unscrew this screw right here. And same with the next screw. Kind of take out this little metal bracket thing, which holds um, a lot of important things in place. Uh, but then you're gonna get your little spudger and pop out this connector right here. Boom. And that is the battery connector. You wanna do that so that you don't actually like fry the board or anything. So I'm just gonna zoom in here so you can kind of see that better. You're gonna pop out this cable right here um, by taking off this bracket right here. So now that you're done with that, you're going to move up here. Um, to, uh, kind of same idea, there's this little bracket thing that holds the pieces in place. Make sure not to put too much stress on these uh, ribbon cables here holding the display down, uh, holding the display. Um, the next thing you're going to want to grab, at least that's what I would use, is these tweezers. Then lift up this panel. Set that aside. Um, now I have a bunch of these little connectors here. Same kind of thing. Uh, we're going to pop this up, just one at a time. Be really careful not to damage anything. Boop. Uh, and somewhere in there we can do another boop. It might require a little bit of force. Just as long as you're being careful, gentle, but also firm, I think it'll be good. All right, boom. Now we've got your dis display assembly removed and you can kind of set the side if you're doing like any repairs up here to like the home button or like the microphone whatever this is where you do it. you could like unscrew these screws or these screws down here to kind of repair that whatever i'm gonna set the display aside so now we have this main logic board right here uh so this is kind of yeah just the main iphone so let's get going with this next thing i'm going to remove is the camera which is held in right over here uh with i think this screw so i'll go ahead and get that screw Unscrewed right here. If I can get it out, good heavens. Put that right there. And then this screw right here. I think, I could be wrong, I've never really done this before. But I'm assuming that goes with the camera. And then I think, maybe that's it, I'm not sure. But pop out the camera ribbon cable. Boom. And there is a little bit more. Oh. Okay, yes, so we are going to unscrew this screw right there. It's kind of hidden back there. Carefully get that out. And then there's actually a little metal plate. You're just going to carefully wedge that out. And boom, you have your 12 megapixel rear facing camera sensor. Um, and it does not have OIS of any kind. It's kind of just in there, unfortunately. Yeah, you can kind of see that there. This is really cool, it's fun to look at. All right, uh, we'll set that aside. So let's see, what else should we look at? Oh, that bracket there. Hmm. I will look at that under the microscope, see where that came from, <laughs> that could be bad. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's the camera or whatever. Um, hmm, what else do I really need to remove? Oh, real quick, I'm going to grab my SIM ejector thing. Tool, go down here to where the SIM tray is. Boop, pop that out, just in case I forget, so I don't want to damage anything. Put that back. Um, hmm, what else should I remove? All right, well, let's get busy. I guess I might try to remove the motherboard. I'm, no promises, but I'm at least going to try. I think the motherboard starts right down here, 
and ends all the way up here. I recently took apart an iPhone 6, um, not on camera, unfortunately, and that went a similar way. I'm going to zoom out so I can see this better, and yeah, let's just get it started. Um, refixing my screws that kind of got out of place. Oops. That's not a word you want to hear a lot when you're doing this. <laughs> okay, anyways. Uh, let's see, so the next thing I assume, let's just look at the motherboard here for any screws that we need removed. Hmm. I guess I'm just going to start unscrewing some stuff. Uh, I'll actually first remove this little antenna band right there. And the next screw, uh, not screw, uh, ribbon cable right here, which I'm not sure what that connects to, but I'm going to gently remove that. So we're kind of cl we're clear down there. Um, I guess I'll just move on with the next of the screws. Uh, I see one right here underneath the SIM card tray. Underneath the SIM tray. So I'll set that over here next to the SIM uh, tray. Oops, up the camera there. Uh, we have another of these things right here. Pop that out. Again, you want to be careful, but at the same time, you might need a little bit of force to get those things removed. Um, I'm just looking here for any other screws or anything that would be holding this board in. I'm not feeling a lot of resistance. Um, I think we're good down there. Uh, let's keep checking up here. Looking good. This looks like it goes kind of running over here to the flash module and microphone, I think that is. Um, and let's try to remove that. Let me get that screw for the flash module. And pop that bad boy out, hopefully. Let me get the screw, I guess. Set that aside. that It's not coming out easily, so I guess I'll leave that for now. I do see a small little guy over there that I'm going to have to unscrew real quick. Um, I think this guy. Got to use a weird drill bit for that. Not drill bit, but screw thing for that. Um, okay, looking good. And move over here. Let me get my main uh, screw head back in. Switching that out real quick. And boom. All right. We'll grab that thing right there. Unscrew that. Hello? If it'll come out. There we go. Okay, set that aside. And then the one right next to it. Sorry if my fingers are in the way. It's kind of hard to do this normally without having to worry about cameras and such. Okay, that one comes off easily. That's good. So that comes off. I will unclip whatever this is. I don't know what all these different things go to. Um, I can't tell if that's part of the board. Let's see what's even on that side. That's got to be some kind of antenna or something. Um, but the board it looks free. Okay, there that thing goes. It's good. So we take that out. Which means the board is getting free. Let's see if there's any other um, areas of resistance. Okay, the board's about to come out. I just got to get this area right here. So for right there, we will get this screw. Hit that with an unscrew. Set that down. And then right there, that top one. 
And I think this is some kind of antenna thing. If anyone actually knows what it is in the comments, please tell me. I'm almost completely oblivious. Don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just hoping that I have a little bit of experience enough to figure this out. We will see. Does that come out? Let's see. It can't. Mm, okay, so it's got some weird connections here. This is definitely antenna there. If you can see, it's got some weird connections right there. I'm going to see if I can unscrew those. Definitely going to have to do this off camera, unfortunately. This is difficult. Okay, first screw out. So far, so good. We'll set that up there. I'm going to work on the second screw here. That one is much harder to get to. But somehow, some second screw removed. Now, as easy, how easy this is going to be to put back, I am very not sure. I'm kind of terrified of that. But uh, so far, so good. <laughs> then we got one more screw right here. I think this is the last screw for the motherboard, at least. Could be wrong about that. Let me take that out. Place that right about there. And we have almost disconnected our motherboard. Soon to have a little bit of resistance down here. Okay, this antenna thing is clipped in right here. Okay, so this is something we're gonna be really careful of. Let me zoom in if I can show you this a little bit more. Um, but yeah, it's kind of clipped in along these sides here. Let me see if I can figure this out. Is there some, any form of release for it? I'm gonna see if I can just pop it out. And pop it out, okay, that worked. And boom, there we go. We have our iPhone 6S uh, motherboard here. Let me just flash the clip here. All right, so that's it. Uh, I have basically completely disassembled an iPhone success. Um, we still have stuff like the charge board, uh, no taptic engine in this model, speakers, etc. that I could do in a later video. Let me know if you want me to do a more in-depth version, but this has already been complicated enough. You can see kind of all the screws I have lying around. Um, I'm gonna get to work putting this back together. Um, I'm not gonna video that because that would be extensively boring. So far, this is a good sign. I have fully put it back together. We will see, usually this battery doesn't really last very long, so I don't have really have high hopes for the, ooh. Whoa, boom, baby. Oh, low power. Yeah, see, it went from 100 to 1% in like five seconds. Anyway, oh, and it's dead. So, I think next time we open this thing up to fix it, it's gonna be replacing the battery, just saying, because that's what it needs right now. Um, I will see you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe and tell me what you thought in the comments below. See ya.